I'm Scott Bilker. Let's talk sheets. Today, I want to talk about the sort function. Now, you can always sort manually. Let me show you. So I have name and age and uh, different values in each of these columns. I could select both these columns and say data, sort range, sort by name ascending. And now you can see it's sorted by name ascending. Or I could say data, sort range by age. And now it's sorted by age. I'm going to undo this. Okay. So that's where we started. There may be times where you want to have this done automatically, at least in some other place where you can reference an automatic sort. So let me show you how you do that with the sort function. So here, we're going to do that right here. Equals sort. Now, one thing you'll notice about this and any other Google function is that when you type it initially, you might get this question mark. If you click on that question mark, you're going to get details about how to use the function. If you click on learn more at the bottom, you'll see on the right hand side of the screen, even more information pop up about how to use the function. That information is really <clears throat> everything that's on Google's help page for the function. So let me go back here. I'm going to close this. I'm going to close this. Let's go back into the sort function. So there's three important parameters that you have to put in here, which is what you want to sort, which we want to sort the name, then comma, sort it by what? Well, sort it by itself. And then lastly, do you want to sort it ascending or descending? True is going to be for ascending, false for descending. So there you have the names sorted by themselves. But we also want the ages. I'd say equals sort. I'll sort the ages, comma, by the names. And I want them sorted ascending. And there you have it. Names ascending, ages ascending. This is one way to do this. In this case, we need one function for each of these columns. But there's an even better way to do it when you want to do both columns at once. Let me show that to you. So I'm going to delete these two. Let's again do it. Sort. Now we're going to select both the columns at once and then comma, and then the next parameter is going to be which of these columns do you want to sort by? One is name, two is age. I want to sort them by the name, and I want that to be ascending. And that's it. Now it's going to put both the columns there sorted by name. If I want to sort it by age, I just got to make this two. And now they're sorted by age in the perfect pairs they were here. So let me control Z that. Now I'm going to, over on this side, I'm going to put just sorted by age. So both of these sorted by column two ascending. And of course, we can sort them age descending if we made this false. And there it is descending, which is nice. Oldest first. I'm going to control Z. But say you wanted to put someone new on this list and you wanted them to automatically appear over here. Well, say I put Tom here, and Tom is, I don't know, 90. He's not appearing on this list because this range doesn't cover far enough. It doesn't go down far enough. It stops there. So what we're going to do is, if we remove this number here, it's going to select the entire length of the column. And now you're going to see Tom pop up right there. I'm going to do it here as well. So now it's the entire length of the column and any one we add to this list. Say someone's named Gordon and he's five. You can see immediately added to the list here, immediately added to the list here and sorted. So you can see the power of doing this automatic sort feature. So I might enter data and it's already organized somewhere else. Of course, you can get a little fancier with this. I'll show you one way, and this can be expanded. 
So one small example. If we wanted to just enter a number in a cell somewhere else and sort this list by name or age, I could say, let's use this cell J1. I'll put the number one in here, and one's going to be the name. It'll be column one. If I now say, instead of two here, I put J1 and reference this cell. Now it's sorted by name. If I put two, it'll automatically sort it by age. I can also add a word here. So say I say, we want to say ascending or descending. If I say true, I could say here, instead of this, I will reference this cell, which is J2. True is ascending, false descending. There are many ways you can change these cells. Now we're just typing them in. But you will see later on and other things that I'll cover in the future that we can make drop boxes to determine whether we want to select age or name, and it'll automatically do it. So we want to say, I'm going to make this now ascending by age. Boom. Simple. So you can see how handy this function can be. Uh, you can get, by the way, you can download this sheet and any sheet that's available for free. Not all sheets at Let's Talk Sheets are free. Many are. And you can get those by just requesting them and signing up for the email newsletter, which will keep you posted on anything I do that's new or any updates on these sheets. Just let me know that you want this and I'll put you on the list. Uh, within this sheet are more is more information related to it. For example, on the terms page, uh, there's links back to Google Help, plus an automatic update in case I change this, you'll be able to get it, and notes on this version. That's all I have right now for the sort function. Thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed this video, please do me a favor and hit the like button, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and of course, visit Let's Talk Sheets and sign up for the email newsletter. Have a great day.